jumping through the glitch. I had something happen the other day that massively shifted my world. Recall in the Matrix movie when Neo notices a black cat strolling across a doorway, twice. Morpheus told him it was a glitch in the Matrix, and was a sign that the program was being overwritten with new data, and in the movie was a sign the pursuing agents were onto them. Since then, this glitch in the Matrix idea has gotten incorporated into the cultural psyche in interesting ways. DJs use the glitch to describe an obvious error, quote, quote, in the flow of music that is turned into part of the musical work or mix. I've also heard people say when they encounter a synchronicity or some unexpected weirdness, hey, that was a glitch. I bring this up as a way for me to describe or understand the massive shift I experienced. I was in the midst of a deep session with my shaman friend. I had been feeling stuck and powerless, pretty common these days from a lot of people. And she, out of the blue, said, Well, you could always move to Bisbee, Arizona. I heard rents there are the lowest in the United States. I laughed at the absurdity of the idea. But then, in a flash of inspiration, a thinking glitch, really, I thought, hey, why not move back to the town in Kansas where I incarnated? I immediately put the thought on the WTF shelf in my mind and didn't mention it to the shaman. As I began to wake up the next morning, and in a theta state right before opening my physical eyes, I saw a 30-something man standing at the foot of my bed with a quizzical and concerned look on his face. I thought my eyes were open, but when I did open them, I realized it had been a visitation by a guide. My next thought was Wellington, the town in Kansas where I was born. My mind suddenly began processing everything I knew about my birthplace, not much, and right then I realized I'd never considered living there, and that the idea was so off my usual track of thought and action as to be absurd. But as I did a slow jump to this glitch and what I had constructed as my set of possible life options, it became crystal clear that this option was beyond any normal expectation and thus worthy of consideration. There is a fascinating video on YouTube by Tom Montauk who describes various types of synchronicities. There are the garden variety coincidences, and then there are the more rare manifestation sinks, as he calls them, where as a direct result of creating a choice, things immediately begin to line up for the actualization of it. Montauk also talks about how synchronicities are a signal of entering a quantum space where events and circumstances are particularly subject to manipulation by the mind. The weirder events are, the less past momentum they have, so that by jumping into the weirdness, your causation is amplified, since there were much fewer points of creation for the flow of events. Because I've never considered relocating to the place of my birth, by choosing that option definitively without reservation, the quantum energies are much more available for the manifestation of it. Montauk suggests that we all follow the energies, symbolism, and metaphors that make up synchronicities, as they can lead us to greater, more fantastic and fulfilling versions of our life stream. In other words, when there's a glitch, jump. So, at this point, I'm on my way to Wellington. Although the resources to make this glitchy move have yet to completely show themselves, I somehow know they are there and my arrival in the land of Oz is assured. In fact, I've set up a GoFundMe project, so should you be so inclined to join me in that glitch, feel free to donate. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com